weeks for 50,000 people to pass that box. You know that? It'll take weeks! 50,000 people in a queue to look inside the box at the Queen's face. It'll take you weeks. And God Almighty is waiting. One, two, three, thousand, ten thousand, twenty thousand, forty thousand, fifty thousand, and one, two, fifty, sixty, sixty-five, sixty-nine. And then he kills them all. That's the loving father in heaven. You see, he's a loving father. The God of Islam is a tyrant. He's a merciless God. Allah says to the contrary, He's Rahman, Ar Rahim, Bismillah, Ar Rahman, Ar Rahim. But He said, No, He is a merciless God. See, He punishes whom He pleases. My God is a loving Father in heaven. I said, This loving Father allowed 50,070 people to pass a box. If you are that loving Father, your children, the first one who made the mistake, is, Hey, you! Come, come, come here. Sorry, Daddy. Sir. Sorry, ma sorry, Mama. You know, I won't do it again. Finish. You save 50,016. If you kill that one too, 50,016 and you save. 50,000. But no, he allowed them all to pass. And he killed them all. So some 50,000 women are widowed. And some 100,000 children are orphaned. For looking into a box. Very kind and merciful God. Very loving Father in heaven. Huh? So the thing is turn the tables. Once you have these facts in you, the guy talks about a loving, I said, what a loving father? I said, come, come and open your book. He killed 50,070 people for looking into a box. You do a thing like that? Huh? Even to rats you don't do that. To cats you don't do that. You know, so you're going to allow them all to do, make that sin, and then wipe them out? You do things like that. You're a sadist, man. You know, you get pleasure. Astaghfirullah. But with this book, that guy is getting converts. And you and I, we are not doing our job. We are not opening our mouths. This is here an inoculation I have given you. That you can become a, a bloody rubbish woman. And you become a bloody rotter. And a dirt and a bloody cutthroat and a rogue. But you are not likely to become a Christian. Ah, for money's sake or for woman's sake, yes. But on the merits of the book, you are not likely to become a Christian. That's all. That's the inoculation I have given you. Injection. To save you from being Christianized. That's all. But the others, you have to do the homework yourself. Any questions? Any questions? Is this the book they carry around? This is the book. Basically, all the Bibles are the same. There might be difference in the terminology, the language. It says, uh, lie with him, rather than say, have sex with him, but meaning the same thing. Basically, what is in this Bible is in every Bible on earth. So, you give the reference. They can't open up. Samuel's, 2 Samuel's, chapter 13, verses 5 to 14. Read. Make them to read. You mustn't read. Make them to read. And they're not going to read. Say, what's wrong? Isn't that the book of God? He said, I said, what, what are you ashamed to read it for? Huh? Read it, man. I want to hear. From your mouth. And see how he tries to wrangle out of it. Yes. Advice that our sisters don't have to get into an argument with the with male missionaries. Right, right. That's, yes, right yes, yes, true, 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 true. You see, this males come along, men, men come along. Now it's very, very difficult for you to get into this mess with the man about Lord committing incest with his daughters, son with his mother, brother with his sister, son with his mothers. It's not befitting. It's not befitting. So when a male is coming along, if she says, look, if your brother is there or your husband is there, let him do the talking. Train him as well. Tell him, look, this is what, come on, man. Fit yourself, equip yourself. But uh, the other guy comes along, and we haven't got somebody there, say, hey, look, you bring your mother along. You send your mother to me, send your sister to me or your wife. I want to talk to her. Go. I don't want to talk to you. See, it's time for busy. Right, right. So right, so you get out. Tell that guy, say, you, you get out, I want to talk to your wife. I want to talk to her, I want to ask her. You go and sit outside. Sit outside. I want to talk to your wife. I want to know whether this is the book of God. Huh? You read this to your daughters. About the daughters having sex with the father. When an honorable thing to do to have sex, children from the father. What is the moral? You're going to tell this to your daughters. This book, the book on, on incest, 
If I were to write a textbook and give it, present it to your daughter, will you be happy? Huh? From the book of God, the types and types of incest that you can commit, I want to present it to your daughter. Your 14 year old, your 16 year old daughter, what will you do? Guy says, I'll strangle you. I said, you have a right to do that. Why? It's pornography. In the book of God? So what? Come, open, see. Yes. Right. Uh, these tubes with the pens should be left behind. Yes. So if I may, on behalf of the people that are present here, I want to take this uh, opportunity of thanking you for the, the manner in which you presented your your argument that gave us this ammunition, this combat kit. May Allah Allah guide you and you belong like you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Some other day, inshallah, we might have the opportunity of general discussion and talk we can have. But this has to be restricted to this, to arm you. Just one question. Yes, yes. One of the students was confronted by one of the students in school, and the student was caught out. The, the student wanted to know why is it that non Muslims are not allowed in the Kaaba, in Haram Sharif. And uh, the student gave a reply that it's the Quranic law. But uh, the student couldn't expound further and say, why this law was there? Maybe if you could enlighten me, enlighten us. Yes. You see, we, I always find shortcuts to ask you. You start going into details. For example, you say, look, you people are unclean. You don't wash your backside. You are all bloody pig eaters. You are all adulterous. And all that is offensive. It may be true, but it's not called for. You see, uh, Allah gives you opportunities, and He gave me the opportunity when I debated with Swagat. Swagat posed that question. He said, we allow you to come into America, why won't they allow us to go to Makkah and Medina? I want to appear on TV in Saudi Arabia. He wants to get, get there. So I told him, look, Makkah and Medina are not in my hands. I'm not ruling that country. But to get into Makkah and Medina is the easiest thing in the world. It's the most easiest country in the world to get into. It's amazing to hear that. We think it's the hardest country to get into. I said, you see, you say with your lips, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. And visa is granted. That's all. Which means that there is no other object of worship but Allah and Muhammad is his messenger. Then they won't ask you whether you come from Eskimo land or from Mars or Jupiter. You just say La ilaha, that you are a Muslim, that's all. I said, you just say La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. And visa is granted. Now just those words, that sentence brought for my IPC three million and three hundred thousand dollars from one man alone. Just that statement. That statement, I just, I say easiest thing in the world because they are always asking the Arabs, why don't they allow us into your country? You come along here, you enjoy our sisters and some of you sodomize our boys, damn it all, and now you don't allow us to go to your holy place, we want to go there. What's the answer? The answer is you don't wash your backside. You like this, you like that, you're bloody pig eaters. So we will bring the bloody pigs and come. And you know, we don't get a shit wherever we go. You know, we seem to be all right. And when you go out with my sister, damn it, all the shit doesn't come in your way. What the hell are you talking about? The students, students. They don't know how to answer. So, Dida says, very easy. The easiest thing in the world, easiest kind in the world to get into. Say with your mouth, man, la ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah. So, this is granted. That man said, this is the man. This is our man. We must help him. So, the one man gave me three million and three hundred thousand dollars. Just that statement. So, I said, I find easy way. Easy way, instead of talking about all, it's in the Quran, what's in the Quran, what does the Quran say, and all that, what was the reason behind that revelation, and very easy. You want to go to Makkah Medina? Very easy. Say with your mouth, any country you get into, you need the visa requirements. Every country has got its own requirements. I want to go to Zambia. So, they send me a form on a lecture tour. They said, right, fill, a, fill the form at the back that I do not recognize the illegitimate Smith regime in Southern Rhodesia. Smith had declared the UDI. Now I'm supposed to sign this affidavit that I do not recognize the illegitimate, that bastard Smith regime in Southern Rhodesia. I said, look, this is a battle between South and North. Why involve me? He said, look, you don't sign this, you don't come to Zambia. So I had to sign. Visa requirement. Every country has got its visa requirements. The requirements to go to Makkah, Medina? Are you Muslim? That's all. Are you Muslim? So you say with your mouth, Lai, 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 Muhammad, visa is granted. 
So you kill all the arguments. No arguments. Musliman manja. We are Muslim and we are granted. Alhamdulillah.